Amanda says, we just moved in together and he is more distant now. What do I do? Well, you have a conversation with him about it, right? If you are in a relationship, Amanda, which I don't know, right? Because like I was just talking about, a lot of women end up date in a dating scenario with a man where they're living together. This happens all the time. They're living together and they're still just a dating scenario. If you're in a relationship, which, you know, I, 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 I pray that you are, <laughs> I, I hope I, you know, I hope you're in a real committed relationship situation here, Amanda. Um, if you're not, my suggestion is that you move out and, or you kick him out and you don't live with a man with, if you want a ring, my suggestion is you don't live with men without getting a ring on your finger. And, um, so what you should do, let's, let's, just say that you're in a committed relationship because I don't know, but let's say you are, what you should do is sit him down and have a real conversation with him. A lot of women are like, how do I, you know, manipulate him and say this slick thing and send him this text message, you know, or whatever, just sit him down and have a conversation with them and just be like, Hey, you know, like I love the time that we spend together and it's, really great, but I feel like you've been kind of distant lately. You know, is there something that's going on with you or you know what? And most guys will start talking about what's going on with them. And if he doesn't, then that's a big red flag. Right. And like I said, you, uh, hopefully, hopefully you're in a committed relationship. Hopefully you are. <laughs> hopefully you are, Amanda. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for you, hoping for you, praying for you over here. <laughs> 